It has been called the biggest health crisis you've never heard of. As many as two and a half billion people around the globe are estimated to need glasses, but don't have them. Small clinics like the Aravind Eye Care Vision Center in Karyapati, India, give free or low-cost care to dozens each day. But many people in the country, as many as 220 million, don't have access to these kinds of facilities and can't afford glasses. I'm Siobhan, co-founder of Planoptica. We've made the Quixie. The Quixie is a handheld autorefractor. It's used by eye care professionals and healthcare organizations in the eyeglass exam. And what it does is it makes the exam more efficient for them and allows them to uh, see more patients. And this is really important in low resource settings where there's not enough optometrists. Shivang Dave is CEO and co-founder of Planoptica, the developer of QuickSee. He was representing one of 10 teams of social entrepreneurs competing in Washington, D.C. at ASME's Innovation Showcase, or iShow, one of three such events held each year, with competitions also held in Nairobi, Kenya, and Bangalore, India. You basically look into for 10 seconds, you push a button, and at the end of that 10-second reading, it gives you a very accurate measurement of your eyeglass prescription. We're giving sort of the gift and opportunity to access education and other uh, basic resources that we take for granted for people with clear vision. And we're giving that to people who just don't have that access right now. As a winner at iShow 2017, Planoptica received design and engineering guidance along with grants totaling $28,000, which Shivang says was crucial to QuickSee's early prototype development. We've been so grateful to ASME um, over the years because their help, their advice, their financial support has all come at critical times for Planoptica. It's one of the most impactful organizations that we've ever been, uh, been lucky enough to, to work with and partner with. Some of the prize money that we won went into building early prototypes so that we could do pilots with external partners. And that was really critical to validate the technology in someone else's hands and then, you know, get the ball rolling even further towards manufacturing. Hi, Siobhan. Good to see you. Good. Thanks for so having us. From 2015 through 2017, working with vision care providers in low resource settings around the world, they tested the prototype to study QuickSee's usability and accuracy against standard clinical equipment used to measure vision. We did our first large-scale clinical study. We did it here in India at Arvindai Hospital. What we were able to show was that the device was remarkably accurate. At that point, we really knew we had something that could have a lot of impact. It's in rural areas like Odin Chatram, where there are few eye care professionals, that QuickSee is making the greatest impact. Once a year, Aravind turns a wedding hall there into an eye clinic. In this single day, a staggering 700 people received eye exams. This woman came because she could no longer read small letters. Technicians using QuickSee quickly determined the right prescription. She was among many people that day whose quality of life would improve radically with glasses. The hopes of today are the reasons of tomorrow. It's not only in low resource countries that QuickSee can make a difference. Some 9,500 miles away in Lubbock, Texas, optometrist Garrett Wentz also believes in QuickSee's potential to change lives. Dr. Wentz and his brother, Tucker, set up a clinic twice a month at a community outreach ministry that provides eye care services to residents who cannot afford it, like Rebecca. I was in dire need. It was so bad that I couldn't even go down the street and read the, the street signs. It was really bad. QuickSee helps Dr. Wentz see more patients while Tucker makes the lenses. When he gave me the glasses, I kind of was a little nervous, so I put them on and looked out the window, and I had to quickly take them off because it was so overwhelming. And um, I kind of started crying a little bit, and then he said, no, go ahead, put them back on and look out the window, and so I did. It was amazing. I, I did cry, <laughs> as embarrassing as that is. I can see. It's really awesome. <laughs> Taking Quick C on the road is a life mission for Dr. Wentz and Tucker. I came across this device, the QuickSee device, and I was like, man, this is awesome. It's very accurate, it's portable, um, quick, easy to use. This is a no-brainer. I knew that one day Tucker and I want to take this um, on the road into a mobile clinic um, and be able to service people where they're at. Back in Madurai, India, one of the founding members of the Aravind eye care system sees the QuickSee technology as a game changer. It's going to play a very, very paradigm-shifting role in being able to reach the billion people. 
you know, who need refractive services uh, and many of whom live in developing countries where without a technology like this, this just wouldn't be possible. He asked me what my dream is, you know, millions of people being auto-refracted with this in the future and helping them get access to eye care when they didn't. No one's going to solve such a big problem by themselves, but I think we'll be one of the people who participate in putting a dent in it.